Hey everybody, welcome back to Callus Draft League, week 6, the final week before playoffs. This matchup, red versus orange, probably doesn't matter for playoffs. Red is probably eliminated, but that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy the game. I already covered the draft. Why not cover the follow-up game? The other cool thing that can happen here is our top player, a large mongoose on the alt, Horganic, is playing for a 6-0 perfect regular season and if he gets it, he'll be rewarded with a fancy new role in the Discord server. How about that? So let's check it out. See if Mui can spoil the perfect season that a large mongoose is trying to achieve. Or if he can get that cool individual accomplishment that no one will ever be able to take away from him. Here's their game. Mui Baller. That's Mui, of course, is on the bottom. Horganic is a large mongoose on the top. They both lead fighters. One of them's comfortable with it, one of them's not. We end up with Heracross on Swampert. And that is not the right time to protect because his opponent is gonna SD up. That means Glalie is gonna be insta-deleted by the Megahorn. Not a good start for Mui, but he at least does scare off the Heracross with the Houndoom threat. And he's gonna get lucky here burning the Tauros. So that is actually a one-hit KO when you add the burn in via Fire Blast. So we've got ourselves a quick 5-5. Five to five. They both go for status moves. While misses Toxic Connects, Metachim does not take that Thunderbolt well. He's going to fake out here, sure, but what's the plan now? And the plan is to switch. Our Maldo is going to come in 31% from a neutral hidden power. Threatening a rock attack. And interesting that with the rock attack being so obvious, the thing that he chooses to baton pass to is a rock weakness. Don't know if that's the play that I would have made, but that's the play that he made. He gets a Surf off, gets Rock Blasted again. This one is going to be better than the crappy two-hitter last time. A three-hitter will suffice. Cloyster is no more, and even though they both brought Spikers, neither one got a lair down. So, quick four to four. Unrevealed's on both sides. Doom and Zapdos, respectively. Doom is faster. Fire Blast, 66%. Thunderbolt, 63%. But Doom, if it doesn't miss, has the advantage here. And I'm very surprised that he doesn't pull the trigger here. I would have gone for Fire Blast all day there. Why wouldn't you? But he sees it differently, I guess. I don't know why you wouldn't blast there. Nevertheless, Starmie insta-deleted after getting an Ice Beam off thanks to a critical hit stab Razor Leaf. But apparently Hidden Power flying in the back for Metacham, so that's cool. This one's moving fast. We've got ourselves 3-3, to -3, now 3-2. to -2. Here is Houndoom, and now we're going to Fire Blast. Same thing that we should have done before. I don't get it. But okay, fair enough. Well, he does it now. Better late than never. Down we go. But this is a problem. Houndoom was probably the intended answer to the Alakazam. It's not going to be anymore because it's so low. And yeah, that's another protect into let your opponent do something useful turn. Last time he protected on a Swords Dance turn. This time he could have protected into a Calm Mind, but it ended up being a Substitute, which is just as bad. Earthquake apparently is going to kill the Zam. Kind of surprised he didn't bring HP Grass, to be honest with you. But I think he's still dead, especially with Ice Beam not popping the sub there. Heracross is absolutely going to clean him up now, because even if the Houndoom were to connect with Fire Blast, it's only going to pop the sub, which it does. And then Heracross is going to get him. So the only out there would have been, and I'm not clear why we went for Ice Beam, but, I mean, yeah, maybe it was, I don't know what the last move would be to not, I mean, it must not have been Surfer Hydro Pump, obviously, right? Or he would have gone for that, and it wouldn't have been Roar, I don't think, because he would have, I guess not against, yeah, maybe it was Roar when it was last Pokera, maybe that's why, I'm not clear. But it stinks that the Ice Beam didn't pop the sub. Obviously, what he needed there was a Surf or something to continuously pop the sub. And, of course, eventually the Heracross would have killed him and then Houndoom could come in and out speed. Uh, but the other problem, so we've got a non-lefties Heracross here. It might be subbing down to Salak. And if that is the case, then Mewie was going to be dead either way because... The Swampert would have just Surf, Pup, Sub, Surf, Pup, Sub, Surf, Pup, Sub. Eventually, he gets down to 1%. He activates Salak. He outspeeds. He kills the Swampert. And now the Houndoom isn't an out anymore because it isn't faster than Heracross anymore. And he dies either way. So I don't know that necessarily mattered there, but it's just fun to speculate. Regardless, this is a quicker game than several of the grinds that I've already narrated today. 
And it is, in fact, a win for a large mongoose completing his 6-0 perfect regular season. Good job to him. And Orange Team, his team, will be in playoffs. So we'll see just how far he can take it. In the meantime, hit that like button if you've been enjoying the content. And there's more to come.